this is a prayer that I've read before. I've prayed this before with you publicly. Psalm 51. King David was known as a man after God's own heart. He followed King Saul, who was not a man after God's heart, a man who was, uh, you know, by human effort. And so Saul's reign was removed from him, and it was given to David, who was not perfect by any stretch of the word. He was weak and fallen and sinful. But it said he was a man after God's heart. And so David, in the, in the deep pain and agony of his sinfulness and, and his repentance, he prays this wonderful prayer that you ought to pray every morning. Psalm 51, beginning in verse 10. He said, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God. O God of my salvation and my tongue will sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For you will not delight in sacrifice or I would give it. You will not be pleased with a burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, you will not despise. David says, Lord, heal me, cleanse me. Do you notice that? He says, Lord, give me a clean heart. Restore to me a right spirit. And then I will declare your praises. Then my hands will do your work. Then my life will be a testimony to you. You don't want my sacrifices. You want my heart. And it's when you have my heart that my life will absolutely be full of good works and blessedness, and purity. And so, friends, remind yourself of Psalm 51 regularly. David has sinned grievously, had this period of, of you know, difficulty is resulting from that, and he, and he comes to terms with the reality of the situation and says, Lord, it's not about me, not about what I can or can't do. It's about you cleansing my heart and restoring the joy of your salvation through a right spirit within me. That doesn't change in the New Testament, friends. In fact, Jesus just drove that point home. In Matthew 5, 8, when he says, it's the pure in heart that will see God. It's not those who have, re- who have restrained themselves from enough sinfulness or those who have forced themselves to do enough good things. He said, it's those who are pure in heart. And I believe in a lot of ways he's referring back to the prayer of David. Lord, cleanse my heart. Restore a spirit within me. And then, yes, there will be good things out of my life. Yes, there will be praise out of my mouth continuously. Yes, there will be joy unspeakable, but Lord, cleanse my heart.